Hi, welcome to A Body Moment, a podcast about coming home to our bodies. I'm Claire. I'm a mover and a learner, trying to live wholly alive and connected to myself, to others, and to love. I am so excited to embark on this journey with you. Future episodes of this podcast will be participatory, an opportunity for you to move your body. But today, I want to briefly introduce myself and share with you some of the ideas that underpin and shape this podcast. I will try not to ramble. This is a topic I am passionate about and could happily spend several hours discussing. Perhaps, later on in the life of this podcast, I'll share a few more of my thoughts about body. First, let me share a little about myself. I am fascinated by the body. Movement has always been part of my life. During my childhood, it was dance and martial arts, and more recently, through yoga, Pilates, and various somatic movement practices. When my life was disrupted by difficult circumstances a few years ago, I struggled to process my emotions, all the while aware they were overwhelming me. And so, I turned to movement as a familiar and comfortable way to engage and to access the truth of my experiences through physicality. More than five years later, I am still on a journey of discovering how to connect with and listen to my body experience, to come home to my skin, bones, organs, and muscles, because my body is where I live each and every day. All that I experience, I experience within the frame and context of my body. Our minds spend all day acquiring and processing information, and we stop, we pause and consider it. Unfortunately, we have largely forgotten how to do this with our bodies. I strongly believe we underuse and undervalue our bodies in culture today. I believe we are made three in one, mind, body, and spirit, and that our bodies are an integral and not accidental part of our human experience. But so often we ignore them and the wisdom they can offer us. Move. We apply this word to so many things. We move through life, We move through emotions, we move through experiences, and we move through relationships. But do we actually move, or is the experience metaphorical? Do we allow our body to be part of our movement through life, through emotions, through experiences, and through relationships? It is only through the body, through our physicality, that we know movement, the concept, the practice. Only through my home of flesh and blood, cartilage and membranes, cells and synapses can true movement be expressed. Our body provides us another way of knowing, but we need to allow the body's voice space and expression, and then we need to learn to listen. In doing so, we honor our bodies, because our bodies have truth to tell us, if we will welcome it. This can be difficult at first, because we are so accustomed to a disembodied life. So the purpose of these moments I offer is simply to practice, to give our bodies a small allotment of time within our day to move, to process, and to work through the information we have acquired. Merely to have done this is a success. We needn't worry about interpreting what the body has expressed. But the more you engage with your body, the more you will find your emotions released to the surface of your awareness, accessible. By no means have I reached the end of this exploration, but I invite you to come along and learn to embrace your body wisdom. Each moment or episode is a movement meditation with basic instructions to help you find your body's authentic expression. At the end of each moment, I encourage you to take a few minutes to reflect 
and capture your movement experience. Maybe you do this through journaling, drawing, or writing poetry or music. These moments can be experienced by anyone. You live in your body, and so your body will have things to reveal to you. This is not a fitness activity. If your body is broken, sore, or tired, you are not excluded from the practice of coming home. Engage from your bed, your seat, or your front porch. Simply listen to your body and choose to partner with it, rather than resenting or condemning it. This is not a video series because it is not a dance class. There is no right or wrong way to engage your body. We will be actively trying to remove the patterns and boundaries that our bodies have learned and to let an authentic voice emerge from our physicality. So join me. Find a quiet space. It doesn't need to be large, but ideally somewhere you won't be interrupted. Put on some comfortable clothes. Barefoot or socks will allow you the freest movement. And let yourself sink into the moment, free of judgment and without expectations. Together, let's acknowledge the wisdom and experience of our physical selves and come home to our bodies.